The wilderness cries to my soul, come forth and meet the challenges of nature, where each day brings new opportunity and the adventure quenches my thirst. My senses sharpen with every sight, every sound magnified, a one-on-one -on -one battle of hunter and hunted. I'm Jim Benton, and this is Chambered for the Wild. This is where the big boys roam. What a bear. That's a good buck right there. Without the use of ATVs, some of these remote areas in Canada would be almost impossible to get to. I mean, some of these lines or card stands are set up 10, 15 miles from the nearest road. We're gonna unload these ATVs and get back to some of the most remote areas that we can get back to to hunt for these whitetails. You never know what's going to come across in the trail, and sometimes it's some big trees. Once we get the trail cleared out, we'll be able to get back to our hunting block. Now this stand location that Jeremy had picked out for me to hunt the first day, there's an old box blind set up here, and that's really not going to work for me for video. I have my own blind. We're gonna quickly set it up. We're gonna hang some netting over the top. Brush it in, and tomorrow morning, we should be all set, ready to hunt. So this is where we sight in, huh? Mm -hmm. About 80 yards, I think. I think so. One of the first things that I do when I get into camp is check my rifle, make sure it's still sighted in. You know, it, it, with a narrow like this, it looks longer than uh, 80 yards. Oh, yeah that nail <laughs> attack driver is. Right, that nail right on to me. Yeah, 80 yards. <laughs> Get the powder on. Maybe about two inches high. Pretty good, I'd leave it right there. Good deal, let's head up to camp. Okay. After a couple of shots with my muzzle loader, I can tell I'm still on mark. Huh? That's pretty good. I could feel that cold air as soon as you opened that door. Oh yeah.
With hunting early season, one thing that always can happen is something like this as black bear come in. And this is one thing that you don't want to see. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Now with this black bear here, there's only one thing to do is pack up and go to a different stand. Get those teeth. Look how thick these bases are. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfit. Chambered for the Wild with Jim Benton is presented by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. By Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. By Ravenware. Canada's finest cold weather hunting gear and by Matthews. Catch us if you can. Yesterday we were in a meadow and we had some deer coming and going but what screwed us up with that was we had a black bear come in and uh, I, the deer were jumpy and I could tell something was up but uh, that wasn't going to work. set up this morning, we're in a tower blind. We've come into this uh, little bit of a valley. It's really thick, really thick in here. It's tough to see them deer, but I can see deer in the brush. I've seen a couple of bucks come through, some smaller bucks, but it's really tough picking them up in here. So we're gonna sit here today and maybe luck's gonna be on our side. It's tough to see him. This is really thick in here. It's a little crunchy this morning. You can really hear the deer walk. I got a small dog coming through over here. There's more great hunting action when Chambered for the Wild continues. Great exceptional deer. There he is, there he is. Take him, take him. Smoke him. Monster bull right there. Yes! That is an unbelievable animal. That's a Thompson Center TKO, baby. Yes! Look at the size of them. Darn right. Awesome deer. <laughs> yes! On Corporal Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. Well, we got one. What a buck. I mean, look at that. Look how close these suckers come. <laughs> yes! For your next hunting adventure, chamber for the wild outfitters. This portion of Chambered for the Wild is brought to you by Legends Taxidermy, creating legendary trophies. Well, I've got all set up in here. We got a really good spot here. Um, we actually have a, a trail cam picture of a, of a good 12 point uh, in this location here. And so we come here, got set up. It's really thick though, real thick. It's gonna be hard to pick up on them deer, but uh, uh, after looking at that picture, I said, yeah, I think I want to hunt that, that stand, but, uh, gonna, you know, it's cold. It's, it, the beginning of the week was warm, but it's nice and cold. This should be right. We, this should be a good setup. So we're going to sit here today and, uh, and, and see what happens. So hopefully that 12 point will come in.
And this is some beautiful country. morning probably 45 minutes before dark got set up really good setup in here it's thick and I haven't seen a deer and it's a quarter to 11 and finally that buck came in you know it's been really warm and the deer you know just don't move when it's when it's that warm it's been getting up to probably 55 degrees 50 degrees during the day sunny beautiful days it, you know sure makes it nice for sitting in the stand but the deer just don't move and finally finally a good buck yes oh give the guy to call and have him come in go look for that buck oh my god shaking Good board trail here. Yeah, look at that. Walk right on the tree there. Wow, fuck. Look at that. Look where he hit the tree. <laughs> Jeremy, this is a big buck. I had no idea he had these split routes in his. Look at that. What a deer. Look at this. 14 points. <laughs> Rock and roll. Look at this. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that old a midday too. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually uh, a quarter to eleven. And I you know wasn't much movement first thing in the morning, it's pretty quiet, and all of a sudden, you know, I seen deer and actually I almost fell asleep. It doesn't get any better than this right here. Now I gotta wait a whole year to come back. Does this work? That works. That definitely works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs>